one million tons of asphalt, 140 miles of pipe, 46,000 tons of steel, and at 632,000 cubic yards of concrete. So the magnitude of this project is something that will baffle the mind for what we are experiencing right now. episode, we look into one of the biggest construction projects in the United States today, the I-4 Ultimate in Florida. Over 70 Volvo construction equipment machines are working on this mega project, transforming one of the most dangerous interstates in the U.S. to a state-of-the-art traffic corridor. When we got this project, um, you know, my uh, executive vice president came to me and said, uh, "Hey, would you like to go to Florida to build a uh, to build an I-4?" After a bit of thinking, I decided that uh, you know I might not ever have another opportunity to build a 2.3 billion dollar project. So, talked to my family, and we all decided we're going to Florida. So that's how I ended up here. The I-4 Ultimate project is the biggest project that I have ever worked on is also the biggest project that most people here have ever worked on or ever seen. The Interstate 4 runs from Daytona Beach through Orlando to Tampa. The reconstruction consists of 53 new bridges, 87 replaced bridges, 15 updated interchanges, and two new express lanes in each direction. What we're doing is we're really under traffic taking out the entire existing I-4 and replacing it with new. For 21 miles of reconstruction, you know, how do you tackle something like that? It's, it's really all about logistics. So we broke it up into four smaller projects. So each one of those would have a, its own project manager, engineers, schedulers um, to manage their segment of the project. In the 1960s, when the I-4 was built, only six million people lived in Florida, and the vehicles per capita were around 400 per 1,000 citizens. Today, over 21 million people live here, and the number of vehicles per capita in the U.S. has doubled. The highway has become a bottleneck for transport through the Sunshine State and has been listed as one of the most dangerous roads in the U.S. Just this morning we had an, an accident on I-4 on the westbound side that had traffic backed up for about four miles. So on the daily, there's, there's generally a few accidents that you occur and uh, backs up traffic quite a bit. I-4 is built to older design standards. So as you drive down through the corridor, you get a lot of cars going up and down, sharp curves and uh, really slower speeds. So really needed to upgrade all of I-4 to bring it up to current standards, get more throughput through the area. This interchange specifically is, is the Ivanhoe interchange. Uh, it, has, it has loops that are, you know, the design speeds are 25 miles an hour. That's quite challenging. How do you move at that speed on an interstate nowadays? Reconstruction is due to end in 2021 and is run by SGL Constructors. The end result will be an interstate like no other, with fountains, pylones, specially designed landmarks, and innovative lighting. The design of this project was to create a memorable experience as you drove through the corridor. The nice feature that we see is the lights that are going to be embedded on the bridges. And those are multicolor, different color lights that will add an aesthetic feature to the bridges. Volvo Construction Equipment has 71 machines working on this project, such as excavators and soil compactors. The equipment that we need in this project has to be top notch. We can't afford to have breakdowns of equipment as we're constructing something. Time is of the essence, time is money, and we have a schedule to meet.
but the i4 Ultimate is just one piece of a global puzzle where increased urbanization calls for updated transport solutions. Nationally, we have a lot of failing infrastructure, and projects like this are important to you know, the surrounding communities and the cities to make sure that we have proper throughput and connectivity between all of our communities and uh, for economic growth. I hope that when my kids are looking back on this, that they're not saying, you know, gosh, we need to rebuild this thing again. Um, that we put the quality into it now and that it stands for the test of time for the 75 years it's designed for.